Hello again, this is Marxist, and this will be the final video in my granary series, and I'll be discussing pushing last. I'm going to go over what to do here when you push granary last, and also demonstrate the hold that you should use in a basic level. You can come up with other stuff, obviously, for your team uh, that would work for maintaining that hold, because it's almost like you're defending. You've got to keep them out as well. So we'll go over that first, and then we'll go over pushing with advantage, and then pushing when you don't have advantage, and also the most viable off classes, and what you would do with them in video demonstration. So obviously before you can attack last, unless you're just pushing straight through because they did an awful job of holding second and they all died, you're going to have to stalemate for a little bit. And this is the hold that you'll go with most of the time here. You can do little variations here and there, but this is generally the safest thing to do. You're going to have your medic hiding back by the shutter door. The reason you do that is because they may run a sniper against you, and in that position, the medic cannot be sniped. The only And there's a shutter door behind him, so if you try to kill him with a spy, in general, no matter how careful the spy is, his, his body will open the door. So generally, if that shutter door opens and closes on its own, which you can hear rather easily, the med knows something's up. You have your pocket peeking out, watching both shutter doors and the upper door, too, just kind of spamming if anybody opens them. Demo has a trap in here anywhere he wants, really, and also can spam the doors if they open or someone peeks upper. You have a scout lower on the lower left, or lower right if you're holding this and looking towards last. And he's there so that if anyone runs in, they can't run into lunchbox from the ground and cause your team to have to turn around and deal with someone running around behind you. The roamer stands on bats watching the upper doorway and also physically blocking the upper doorway into the lunchbox. You have another scout on the other side across from that roamer doing virtually the same thing, blocking out the upper door. And if you like to Boston Basher build, that's the scout that'll do it. Uh, so that's why I draw the little red arrow, because he can drop down there and stand back with the medic. And in this way, you prevent them from being able to get picks with a sniper, kill anyone important with a spy, or really get in with a spy, because everyone's kind of blocking the doorways and your med's got a shutter door at his back. Uh, so nobody really essential is going to get sniped. Really the only person even exposed to any sniper angles is your demo and your pocket. And in general, the demo isn't that exposed. And the pocket, if he takes a, just a quick headshot, it's not going to kill him because he'll have 300 for the, pretty much the duration of this hold. So I have a video demonstration, but now we're going to talk about pushing with uber advantage. You're going to want to push through three people through one door. Chariot Uber if they're close and have your demo support the two scouts. The, the reason being is scouts can close distance really quickly and they tend to be, Ubered scouts tend to be pretty scary. So people tend to back off. So you use your Chariot Uber if they're holding close to you for whatever reason and you happen to have Uber advantage. Also, with Uber Advantage, I find that Pipe Door isn't very effective, so don't really mess with that or have your Uber come out of there, because it's, in general, you're just stuck on the pipe, and they all just run off of it, and then it's hard for you to see where they've gone, because there's a giant b bunch of pipes in the way. And also, when you push with Advantage, your med can flash, because they they're not going to have Uber anyway, so it doesn't matter that your Uber's cut short by flashing. Uh, so nobody should really ever die. Uh, on an advantage push until your uber is completely over okay now we're going to talk about pushing with advantage you're going to run into this in two situations one where they've lost a lot of people defending second poorly and you're just going to push in and so it's going to be a really quick call the other is when things are a little bit more set up but you have uber advantage of 25% of or more really is your safest bet. The way you're going to manage this is they're probably going to be far away. So you'll have a scout come. You'll pick a door. So whoever the main caller on your team will pick left or right. Let's say you've gone left. You'll have a scout peek this door just like this. If there's nothing there when he does that that's like right going to be right in his face, 
Then he pops out, looks up there, and makes sure there are no stickies there. Once that's clear, then you can begin pushing in. Now, what you're, when you're in this stage here, whoever you've got coming out of the door, you need at least three people coming out of this door uh, besides the medic. So usually maybe two scouts and a demo. Uh, a soldier scout and demo is really, really common. Basically, whatever suits you there. And then you'll make sure that there's no sniper. As long as there's no sniper, just start going to the point and they'll have to come down and fight you eventually to get you to pop so that, so that you don't cap. Just avoid spam. Be mindful of this high pipe. You can take a lot of advantage doing that. And if they're close, then bring, you know, when you do this and you see they're very close, then just get the other scout to come and that'll be a really easy win. You also need to make absolutely certain that someone gets on the point early, but since you're pushing in with advantage anyway, you don't need to worry about sacking someone right off the bat. Uh, because you're get, probably going to just get kills anyways. You also don't need to worry about their med a great deal. Uh, because you've pushed in with Uber. Just try and get the kills. If they run away and despawn, then just get on the point and win. But really, the essential thing for pushing with, a, with Uber advantage is you get three people through the same door all at once. None of them should ever die because you've got Uber. And you just roll to the point and or get your kills. Don't chase around kills into the corners though. Let the guys in the corner be if you can just get on the point. So now we're gonna talk about what if you don't have advantage and what you'll do there is set up your hold and then you're gonna have to go for a suicide to get rid of their uber or run off classes. Generally you'll do both anyways because it's kind of silly to run all the way across the map and get an off class. So you'll suicide in at least one player to get uh, to run an off class or to try and pop their uber. For pushing without advantage, you need to run a suicide first to either switch classes or to try and get their uber out. If you do get their uber out, you can have that player off class just for the added benefit of it if that off class is heavy. Uh, or you could just have them stay. What I really am a huge proponent of for Granary is to run a two-man suicide with everyone else backing up. So if I'm the pocket and the med, we're going to hide way back uh, after the two-man suicide just to be extra careful in case it fails. But the way I like... You can run just a one-man suicide if the other team pushes in on you really quickly and it's too dangerous. But in, other, in any other case, you're going to have your roamer come out around here either through this door although it's more difficult because there's a roof there or the right and he's just gonna jump the med wherever they may be chances are the med is somewhere around there so roamer is just gonna you know pop out of here jump on med or over here same drill if he's farther back, then you've got to be a little bit more creative with your jump. The main thing is that everyone's going to be really concerned with you. And that's how your scout gets up top here very quickly. While the roamer is getting set into his position to bomb, then the roamer will say something akin to, I'm going, and that's when your scout just runs out here, runs on the pipe, and shoots the medic. A lot of the times they'll be so concerned with the bomber will whoever's on this pipe they won't even notice the scout and uh, he'll drop uber to the scout. Now after that we're gonna get into off classes because you're going to push with an off class in most cases. If you do drop the medic or get his uber popped then you can push back in with the standard six and be okay, and I'll go into that after I cover off classes. And for pushing granary less, there are really only three viable off classes, sniper, spy, and heavy. And I'll cover via video demonstration what you'll do in each case. So the first and probably most popular off class for this map is sniper. And the easiest way to do that is you need to have a buddy help your sniper. And the first position for Sniper is down here. And you'll have your buddy walk over like so. 
and he'll pop the door open. And what you do during that time is you scope in a sniper, making sure that no one sees you. And then once your dot is fully charged, you look out here like this. Then you tell your, when you get a fully charged shot ready, you have your buddy peek the door. If there's nothing there, then you try the other door. You're not really going for the medic in doing this. You're just trying to get a pick. And you have your buddy peek the door. Nobody there. We move on to more aggressive formats. So in this segment, you, you can stand here and you look this way. I'll show you what you'll see. So you'll be able to see this whole back area there. You... You really don't want to have to peek all the way out here because chances are you're going to die doing that. And here. And then you'd have your buddy open the door when you're fully charged and you can see basically everything down here. If you're going for a really big pick with the med, you've got to go around this way, get up these stairs, and then chill here. You may take spam doing this and then there might be someone here to shoot. If there isn't, you just stand here, make sure someone covers over this way so that you don't die, and then you just slowly peek out up here, and you should get decent shots or get ready to kill the med somewhere around this way. As you can see, it's kind of hard. Um, the only way you can really truly get to the med if he's using the pipe is if he stands pretty far back. So it's a little tough in some cases, but you just basically work your picks, try and get a kill. It's The med's really not going to be super likely, but you can get something usually with that segment. Just make sure that you're only peeking the door open for a little bit, because if you just hang it open, not only is the location of the sniper obvious, but the guy who's being the little buddy here holding the door might die. And the most popular thing for Heavy to do is you just have him slowly walk his way up into the lunchbox. And then you go ahead and do your push. Usually about the time that he gets in the garage door, you can start your push or if he gets up here into bats. Then he just cuts right through here to the pipe, does a little hop onto the pipe, and then kills everything. And the med can heal him from the ground rather effectively. It's important that the heavy come in last and that the heavy try and maintain crit seals. The reason heavy works is e most everyone on this last is going to have shot at some point, And so they're going to be wanting to reload. They'll also be damaged. Heavy will not be damaged. Heavy will have 450 health and heavy does not have to reload. So he's got a tremendous advantage. Plus with 450 health, it's kind of hard to kill heavy, especially if your gun is partly empty. As spy, you're going to want to approach this way too. The reason being that the shutter door opening and closing tends to draw suspicion because it generally means there's a sniper there or at least something. So in general, the easiest way is to go upper. You'll disguise, which I'm not really going to do in this for the purposes of this video. And then you can either drop down or if you're really crafty, you can cloak, as you're cloaked, jump onto this pipe like so, and then that can usually get you a pretty easy kill. Uh, as long as there's nobody on this pipe, you could uncloak up here, and then you can get pretty good jump stabs on the med if he's on this pipe or over there. In general, if you see a spy, a, a person jumping on the pipe after having eyeballed your med, they're probably a spy, especially if there's only supposed to be one person up there and they're extras. That's pretty effective with, with Standard Watch or Cloak and Dagger. If you can't do that jump, which you accomplish by just jumping out of the window and strafing to the right while gently turning your mouse to the right, if you can't do that, then you can drop down and then run back into spawn or into one of these corners if there's nobody around. And usually you're pretty, pretty secret, pretty safe there to begin trying to stab the, the med. Spy can work quite well on this point because it's kind of open so you, you've you got your options as far as what sort of things you want to pick. If you have to run a standard watch, getting back in here can be helpful 
or sometimes running into spawn people won't really notice it and that'll give you a little bit of time although i would discourage you if you know someone is dead from standing here in full view because they may see you in their spawn room through the glass and now you're going to push i'm not going to do a video demonstration of each person's role i'm just going to give sort of a generalized checklist of things that you're going to do the reason being is I don't know how the team you're facing is holding or who you picked with your off class or if you're just running a heavy. So I'm just going to give sort of a generalized rundown of what you'll do uh, as each individual class. So a scout. One of you has to die on the point immediately after your uber has been popped for about four seconds. The reason you do that is to remove the stickies and to force them to have to have someone stand on the point so that you can't cap it. In some cases, there won't be stickies there, and if you catch the other team napping, you'll mostly cap the point. Otherwise, your main role is to protect your demo, make sure that he doesn't have a lot of pressure on him close, because they should crash the point, as in their, most of their team will drop down to the point. And that's when your demo man is the super stud that kills everything. So make sure you're getting healed. Don't engage in 1v1s. Just stay in a nice little ball with your med and demo. And also, in general, I like having a scout check the door as if you were going to push with advantage, but you don't want to go in with the Uber. Just chill out for a little bit. The reason I like him checking the door is most demos, if there are traps there, are too greedy to debt over just a scout, especially if they see the heal beam on the scout. They're going to wait to kill the medic. So you can have the scout check. If there are no stickies, then you're good to push out of that door. If there are stickies or there's a lot of people in the doorway that shoot you, then just switch doors. Uh, go out up top. Go off to the right side. Whichever doorway you choose. Just pick a different door if there's stickies there. You don't want to have to take forever messing around with getting the stickies down. As Roamer, you don't need to initiate the fight. You don't need to pop their Uber by jumping in ahead of time and dying to Uber things. They're going to want to pop their Uber anyways, so you're not needed to do that. You don't have to come through the same door as your Uber went out, but oftentimes it's very helpful because you, you don't want to have to try to control every part of Granary Last because it's so big. Just pick one side of it. Generally, that'll work. So if your combo went out left, you can go out the left door or you can go out the window or the pipe door uh, and avoid the right door. If you went out right, then you can maybe try the pipe door. Just try and stay to the same side as where your combo went out. Uh, then if they're all standing on the point, bomb them. If they aren't, then you can try to take position on the high pipe. Sometimes that works quite well. If there's already someone standing on there, sometimes it's a little tough. If it's a scout, absolutely do not jump into the scout. Uh, don't jump into heavies either. If you're trying to jump a location and there is a heavy there, do not jump it. You will die and look very foolish in doing so. If it's such that you can't jump, then try spamming rockets at their medic. The reason you do that is that, in general, hurt people are going to be trying to come to the medic, and they may end up running into your spam and dying. Uh, so that can be quite effective as Roamer. As Pocket, you're going to be the, the big boss man that gets the Uber. You're going to take the Uber and either get kills with it or pop their Uber. If there's a bunch of stuff close to you and no medic to be seen, then just attack them. Their medic is going to drop down and try to save them because if they end up going a bunch of people down, you win. Especially if you get two kills, you've essentially won the last push. Uh, or if there is no one close, then you're going to be forced to jump at the medic or the pocket and try to do with that what you can. If it doesn't go very well, be sure to be vo very vocal. Say they have a heavy right on top of their med and you just can't hit him with any rockets then you're kind of hosed and you should let the rest of the team know that so that they don't push in and die so that you essentially just reset and you get another go at it here in a little bit as the uber ends be sure and toss a rocket at the point that way the stickies that are on the point will get thrown off of it 
And that should be right about when your suicide scout that I talked about earlier will be arriving at the point, and he'll much appreciate the fact that those stickies aren't all there, because he may be able to touch the point without blowing up on it, and that'll be just dandy for him, because then they have to drop down anyways, and you'll still have that scout alive. Once you've done that, then just jump on top of a pipe and try and distract the team. They may still be shooting at you when you do that, so it's going to take pressure off of the rest of your team that's now arriving on last, besides you, the Suicide Scout, and the Med. And that'll get your medics some time to go find the rest of your team and heal them. It'll also buy you some time to reload, because chances are you've got no rockets left in your gun, and you've probably used your shotgun a bit if you're being diligent. So find a nice hidey spot to go to or somewhere cool to jump where there aren't really a lot of enemies so that you can get your ch your chance for some breathing space to uh, reload. As medic, pop once you have to, but don't pop super early or super late. If there's no one there to contest you, which your scout who peeked the door will be able to tell you uh, whether there is or not, don't pop super early. If they have a sniper, that's up to you. Some people like to test the enemy sniper at least once in the game and see what you can get away with and see if he'll hit you or not. Uh, if he does hit you, though, you've kind of screwed the whole push and you might lose second, too. So be careful with when you do that. Uh, in general, my rule of thumb is you, you don't want to pop until, A, you see a sniper or a sticky trap that's clearly going to kill you. B, your pocket still has over 200 health, or C, you still have over 100 health. D, if there's more than one person shooting at you at a time, you're going to have to pop. That's As soon as multiple people start shooting at you, you're going to have to pop because you can't properly obey the health rules. Because if two rockets come at your pocket, he's even if he's above 200, if they both hit him, he's going to be so hurt that he won't be able to effectively manage the time period after the Uber. Same goes for you. If you end up down at 40 health and you then have to pop, you're going to die real quick once your Uber is over and your team doesn't want that. Also, after the Uber is end, getting ready to end, Know where your demo is going to be. Make sure that he tells you which doorway he intends to come out of and get to him very quickly because he's going to be the guy that wins the, the last push for you in most cases. Heal as many people as you can, and if you brought a heavy, make sure that your heavy gets his 450 crits heal when he comes in, uh, and you can pretty much more or less tank him in the demo the rest of the time and win fairly easily in most cases. Also, as med, you're not going to be under as much pressure to perform as everyone else. And even if you're not the main caller, try and manage your team a bit so that you don't end up with people off by themselves. You cannot be off by yourself on this map. It's too big. You will get ganged up on and you will die and your push will fail as a result. So try and keep everyone together, uh, especially because when they're together, you can heal them. As demo, help the pocket when he goes in, but don't go crazy deep. Shoot some a couple long-range sticks at the med or at whoever your pocket is shooting at. It should be pretty straightforward if you see him firing rockets at someone. To help him either get the kills or get the pop out. You don't want to run in super deep because if the medic has to flash you, then you've screwed your whole uber up. So don't get too close. Don't go crazy. Just help a little bit from a long ways away. You should also have someone, either a scout or the roamer, guarding you while you do this. So you're going to let the pocket go out of the door, do his thing for a couple seconds, and then peek out of the door and try and help him. That should help the med know where you are. If you happen to be dead and your team pushes anyways, make absolutely certain that the medic knows where you're going to be for after the uber. Once you get into last, don't waste your ammo unnecessarily until that suicide scout has gotten on the point then unload on it and kill everyone who touches the point and kill their whole team more or less make sure that your medic knows where you are 
so that you can win at all times. Even if you get aggressive and kind of get away from your med, or if you ran a heavy and your med's kind of busy messing around with the heavy, make sure that your medic knows where you are so that you can win the game. And that's been my guide to pushing Granary Last. Feel free to ask any questions in the comments below or provide any feedback that you would like. And here are some other videos that you may find to be helpful.